it's Sarah. Oh, sorry about that. Um, and I have a card share today. I made some cards. I actually was inspired by these little daisies. These are, I hadn't seen them before in the $1.50 area at Michael's. Um, I went in the other day, I got an X-Acto knife and these. I got two packs of these and that was it. But they did. They do also have these um, trims as well. And I had gotten these before the holidays. Like, I don't know when, but um, I thought I... And they were still there, so I, I noticed that they totally matched. So I was like, ooh, I can pull them and use them. But anyway, I don't know. Just something about these colors really like spoke to me um, so I just all I did was pull cardstock I didn't do anything um, I kind of thought that I would use doilies and things like that I think I used one piece of pattern paper like on all of these um, I used embossing folders so I embossed I don't have very many but I did kind of make do with what I had um, I only, th this is a small one, the heart one, but I had a couple, like a daisy big one, so I'll show you what I did. Um, for the white cards, I made those with um, the Nina Solar White cardstock, and then for the, oh, what are these called? Oh, the wind just blew. Um, these, you know, the craft cards, I, I had some in my stash. So I think these are like four by five and a half. Um, yeah. And these are just the recollections ones that you can get um, that we all have. So this is what I did. I was also inspired by my little pizza boxes that I made. Um, and I have, I guess, this little um, photo, this little mini album. So I was like, they looked Valentine-y, but... I kind of, I don't know, I just wanted to stick with like the no pattern paper idea. So here's the first one. I used um, that heart embossing folder on the pink paper and just a doily and used some, um, what is that, raffia? No, not raffia. Um, jute. It's all in that family. You know, hold on, here it is. <laughs> oh, I don't have the cover for it. You know, this stuff. Burlap. Sorry. Brain dead. Brain fart. Alright. But I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, but there's the daisies. So those were my main um, kind of focus. Not focus, but you know. I wanted to use them in all the cards. And then I just pulled any kind of cutesy pink thing or heart thing or love thing. <laughs> And then I also used this, um, I hadn't used it before, but I really liked it, the Martha Stewart Edge Punch. So that was awesome to use. So I pulled stuff that I hadn't used. I know a lot of you guys are um, kind of shopping your stash this year. I've been hearing that a lot, and I think it's a great idea. I've only been paper crafting for a year and a half, maybe. And I, were, I have quite a collection of stuff, and I just see that you guys have so much stuff, too. Um, so I think it's a great idea to use what we have. Not that the mer <laughs> merchandisers will like that very much. But anyway, so here's another one. Um, this love tile, I think I've had this since I was doing mosaics. It's actually a glass tile. It says love. But again, it's with the burlap heart. And I did use um, some paint around the edges. I just used my Tim Holtz. Um, daubers. So I, I either used pink or white around the edges of the hearts. Uh, I think this one has pink. I pulled the bling that um the, the recollections bling that everybody has. This is the um, trims from here. Um, and this has a white um, heart embossed background and then some of my other trim. This heart trim I had to use. But I did realize that the cards got kind of bulky when I use them. Like if you're doing it on a three-dimensional piece like this, it's not bad. But for cards, it's like this this is actually kind of a heavy card because you know you figure it's got two layers of paper. I think I oh I popped that up. Then this is like a thick lace. So anyway um, but it's really cute. So, and then inside I would use that punch and just did white. 
and then this is the third one I did in that style. Um, again, these butterflies I've had forever never used. I mean, unopened packages. Or I've pulled them out and just never used them. You know, like I had them out thinking I would. Um, and then these blings are those recollection blings, and I just used them. I was like, I'm using this stuff. I'm using all this stuff. I mean, I think I probably got those on clearance, and I would just grab every color they had just to have them. This is like when I first started paper crafting and didn't really have very much. Um, this is the little daisy um, embossing folder, and I used a piece of corrugated card to make this heart, but I think that one turned out pretty cool. The colors are cool, you know? They all coordinate, so... All right, and then this, um, I think was like the second card I made. And this is the only card that I made using any type of um, card stock. And this is from, um, oh dear, what is the name of the paper company? Um, it's, uh, I bought this when I first, first started at our local, um, let me see if it's on here. But this is the paper. It's so thick. It's from here too. It's gorgeous. It was a Valentine. Um, I already brought this stuff downstairs that I didn't use. Um, but anyway, there was lots of um, cut aparts in the in the stack and everything. So this was just a cut apart. So all I did was just and it had edging on it, but I just cut the um, cut it down to the basic um, photo or the you know the image and backed it with the cardstock again. And then this is part of a doily, two pieces of this doily that Mary Ellen sent me. Um, I cut the corners off and luckily, for some reason, I put them back to back kind of catty corners so they fit perfectly under there. I mean, how simple is that? It's like so simple, but again, the daisies, they're on there and then I had this Metal Cherish. Um, and some bling. So really simple, but so pretty. I just think they're adorable. Um, these are, well, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. This one's just a, um, using a heart-shaped doily that Mary Allen sent me, and I used bling again, but real soft colors. Um, the daisies are in the background, the daisy embossing folder, and just some of my rickrack. I love this rickrack. I think it's from um, Hobby Lobby. Um, the bling and the daisies. So really, really simple. And there's no, um, um, what are they called? There's no words or anything. So I could put, end up putting a sentiment on there, hello, whatever. So I just thought they would be nice to have around. Um, now this one's definitely inspired by a card that I saw, I think it was on Pinterest, and it was just so simple and plain. It was a little more elaborate than these, obviously. Well, not obviously, but it had, it wasn't the same embossing folder. It was more of like a curly cue embossing folder. Just curly cues all around. I didn't have anything like that. Um, but I just went with what I had, added the daisies, a couple of um, the Martha Stewart butterfly punches, and just did it that way. So again, just stayed with the pink. Um, and white and the cardstock. I just backed it with a pink and used those trims. So this is, well, these are my pearls. They're pearls. And then the trims. So how simple, right? But it's still, it's cute. And I mean, it could be a love card or it could just be a how are you card. And then this is the simplest of all. It's just embossed with a couple butterflies stuck to it and some ribbon. So, and I kept the inside white. So that is what I did because you guys know, and I keep mentioning that I'm going to be doing some clay and um, I wanted to get these out of the way and then I'm going to get the clay out. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.